Hey everybody, Sean Tierney here from the Automation Blog, and in this episode of the Automation Minute, I want to talk to you about some confusion. There is some confusion out there about what is the right software package to use with the MicroLogix line of micro PLCs. And I don't know why there is this confusion, because there shouldn't be, because that really hasn't changed for the better part of a decade. But I think Rockwell has a little bit to do with this, or their website does. So let's go ahead and take a look at their website. If you go to any of the pages on the MicroLogix, like the MicroLogix 1100 page, or the MicroLogix 1200, or 1400, you will see that it recommends RS Logix 500. And yes, you could absolutely use RS Logix 500 to program the MicroLogix line. You can, you've always been able to. But since around 2008 or 2009, we've had another option. An option that really is not shown anywhere clearly on Rockwell's website. And uh, matter of fact, I had to resort to Google to find their page for it. And that is the RS Logix micro package. Now, RS Logix 500, let's just use rough numbers. Today it's around two grand. And that's great if you have millions of dollars worth of equipment using the Slick 500, that's nothing, that's pennies, right? But if you're a very small company with a small budget, or if you're just trying to do something at home on a MicroLogix, RS Logix Micro is a much better deal. Now there's a couple different packages. The one I recommend is RS Logix Micro Starter. It's around $200 and um, that's much better. And it programs every MicroLogix ever made. But if you're just using the MicroLogix 1000 or 1100, there's even a better option. And that is, RS Logix Micro Starter Lite. Again, you'll struggle to find that listed anywhere on ab.com or rockwellautomation.com. But, you know, back in episode six of season three, I actually showed you step by step how to download both RS Logix Micro Starter Lite, RS Lynx Lite, and Rockwell's emulator, RS Emulate 500. And those, you can use all those, get them all for free, use them on your laptop and completely test out code um, without even having to buy a MicroLogix 1000 or 1100. So those are your choices. You want the free software for the 1000, 1100? Go see uh, episode six of season three and you'll find out how to download RS Logix Micro Starter Lite. If you need to program all of the MicroLogix, no, you don't have to go and buy a $2,000 package of RS Logix 500. If you already have it, great, use it. But if all you have a MicroLogix, then you can buy RS Logix Micro Starter for around $200 from your local Rockwell representative and save $1,800. And if you want to send that in to me, those savings, that'd be great. Then we'll make more videos. Or if you just want to learn how to use PLCs from scratch, everything you need to know, data types, communications, ladder logic, how it works, how to write it, how to control motors, use it with photo eyes, all of that, check out my courses. PLC Basic Second Edition was just totally re-recorded this year. It's nearly five hours of training, um, and you know you'll learn everything you need to know to, to use the MicroLogix, and in turn, uh, almost everything you need to know to use the Slick 500 and PLC 5. And uh, you can get it right now. It's on sale at theautomationschool.com for less than a video game. So very good deal, I think. And then we also have uh, PLC Core Basics. That's a two-hour version of my original Kickstarter funded uh, PLC Basics course. Um, again, it was filmed in 2013. It's it's older. The, the quality is not the same as the newer course, but if you're looking for something even less expensive, it's a, it's a great course for $20 or it's actually on sale for less right now. And, um, you know, for those that on a really, really tight budget, that's why we released that. And with that, that's it for this episode of the Automation Minute. Until next time, peace.